hi guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't done so it's free so i'm just gonna go through the statement that was issued by mom Binger regarding metro fm interview where babes reveal how she's been beaten up by mom Binger. so he wrote no man finds comfort in discussing his private affairs in public domain in particular his love affairs really i bet if this was good news you would be happily discussing it and uh, publishing it and doing everything nice about it but because this is abuse you want to keep it private i just say well done babes for just revealing the scumbag that he is so he he writes uh, he continues to write that it is out of respect for our supporters and the people of South Africa in general that I make reaction to the public hysteria emanating from the interview on Metro FM in which Babes Wodumo was hosted. So it's only because of the respect of the supporters. Like, dude, you have no respect for any supporter. Because if you had respect of any kind, you would have walked away. No matter how heated the argument is, you would have just walked away. Nothing gives you permission to put your hands, to lay your hands on a woman. And then it says, this interview... Uh, this interview and the revelation that I have been physically abusing her unfortunately occurs amidst the public outcry in our on the in public outcry on the increasing incidence of violence against the women and many in which uh, in recent months has have led to killings to killing of women by their lovers so if you knew that does it make it right that because this happened while there is an, a, a public outcry uh, then does it make it right that you did it or what what does it mean why are you saying it's unfortunate it's very fortunate that you did it while everybody is, do is talking about it to just expose the person that he is i think this is my opinion as a public figure and a man i should be at the forefront of the campaigns against gender gender-based and domestic violence yeah damn right you should be at the forefront you should be except you can't be because you are just a scam i am no saint nor do i plead absolute innocent in the claim of course you can't claim any innocence because because you're guilty ah. made in um, in that interview i may have overreacted overreacted is just an understatement of this this is in a couple of incidents couple of incidents you did not even beat her once during our relationship with her over the certain things i have i have not i will not be comfortable to discuss in the public domain of course you will not be pub uh, comfortable discussing it in the public domain what do you think who wants to discuss that i beat my wife on the public domain or i beat my girlfriend you know many people have been killed by their by, by their boyfriends And then it continues i fully understand that no human being owns of course you don't understand you thought you own her or is entitled to another um, and that every human being is at all times at liberty to take personal decisions do what pleases him or her and pursue a life of his or her choosing Irregardless, this, I'm not sure what regardless means. I think they wanted to say, regardless of any commitment he or she may have with another person um, or implications and impacts those may have on the other person. Many correctly and understandably took to social media platforms to vent their anger and disappointment after the interview. So where did you want them to take the, the, their, their event out? Where did you want them to vent? So what's your point there? Why did you even put this on this statement? It doesn't even make any sense. So what if people went to social media to discuss it? Where did you want them to discuss it? On Over their phone and waste their credit discussing you how much of a scumbag you are? No. I want to apologize to South Africa damn right you have to apologize to the whole world for being a scumbag for disappointing you and discourage other men out there how could you discourage other men when you are just one of them you need therapy dude you just need therapy out there who may find themselves in my situation or different one that challenge your emotional stability and restraint 
no man has a right or justification to abuse a woman in any form whatsoever damn right no man has a right to <coughs> to abuse any woman i know for sure that there are many such cases happening so if you know so there are so many cases happening of of of, of the same thing why do it out there that do not get to be known because of the absence of motive so you say there was a motive in this publication forces and courage to get them known like mine those two must stop i would producers of the interview and the other media out outlets find equal interest and courage to research and broadcast all the women abuse cases out there whose perpetrators and victims are of no particular social standing seriously dude who is gonna do that who's gonna go out and knocking every door and asking every woman if they are being abused in their homes it is the responsibility of the victim to go out there and, and seek help if you don't seek help by yourself who's gonna seek it for you i want to assure the south africans <laughs> i wonder in particular our supporters that violence is not in my character really especially towards women like a human being in a relationship i may have been overwhelmed by emotions and overreacted no you did not overreact you did not you are just a scumbag where where we come from with where we come from with here abusive wouldn't be best i think they wanted to say abuse wouldn't best this define the nature of our journey we wouldn't get this far no because she's been quiet you have admitted in your own statement that you've been you you, you have done this more than once couple of incidents I mean dude your statement is just rubbish if I may be honest as for the accuracy of the abuse claims the build up to the interview the motive and the timing is a matter up to fate to decide its fate yeah, the writing is kind of small and it's kind of difficult for me to read but yeah everything you hear and everything you see nothing is what it it seems out of respect for out of respect for the relationship we had, for the people who supported us, I have chosen to not discuss this matter beyond this statement. No, because you just want to nest your ego, not because of any respect of nobody. You just have no respect of anybody. If you can't respect the woman you engage to, the woman you, you, you claim to love every day, how can you respect anybody else? Charity begins at home. You respect your own before you can learn to go and respect others. And then, Yakoli um, Samina, Unkulunkulu, Asis, Asis is a less cut. I think they wanted to say Unkulunkulu is a less cut. Do you still want to involve God in all of this? Why didn't you ask God to help you hold your hands back before you beat her up? But all in all, I think this is just a rubbish, rubbish statement, to, to be honest with you it's just trying to justify and trying to i don't know i don't know what they were trying to do here but i don't even know why they did the statement they should have just left it alone so if babes were to lay charges now this statement is just incriminating by itself so yeah that's all this is just a statement that i wanted to read out because i find it um very interesting that they will write a statement like this and uh, thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't done so have a blessed day everybody